take a look on the screen here you can see we have we are on the gable side of our, of our building and if i bring this close you can see at the apex here i've marked some 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 points here this just uh, defines uh, the shape and the size of my uh, roof monitor Mo roof monitor in, in, a, in is normally located on the top of the roof and the, the main key of that particular uh, of the roof monitor is just to add airflow inside the building and also uh, add some bit of light and this normally done uh, it's normally erected on industrial buildings especially on warehouses and big uh, workshops uh, and uh, let's get started to show you how we can go about it. So if I come to uh, navigate, I'll come to rotate with steel, and I come on top here by left left clicking and holding. Now, let me just take you briefly on how I created this uh, this slope, these points, and this point. Now, as you know, this point slopes on that on that direction, and and can just come here and uh, uh, place it and offset it in that direction. You have to place your X, XYZ plane on this plane to take the slope of that plane then uh, you get the midpoint of this apex then once the XYZ plane is, is sloped there like in this particular case I, I can let me just do it practically I can come to application I can come to web, uh, view then come to work plane I can just place my work plane on top there and I want to offset this in the direction of X because uh, the slope varies. This slopes on this side and this slopes on this side. And if we want to copy this point on that slope at a distance of one meter, then do the same on this slope at a, at a distance of one meter. Now, from this uh, point, I'll copy a point. I'll copy this point upward by a meter because the height of our uh, uh, monitor roof monitor will be approximately not approximately. It will be eight meter. Uh, I mean one meter. Then the same applies here. Now, then on the apex of the same same monitor, we've given it allowance uh, apex height of of uh, 200 on top of this one here, on top of 100, on top on top of one meter. So let's just take a practical dimension of that. I'll come to measure, then pick on that. Then I want to measure from this end to this end. This is that's 1200, and that's okay. Now. Once I've, uh, once I've explained how you can come up with the shape or markings of uh, a roof monitor of, of an industrial building like this, once we have these key points, like you know in PEB, uh, the placement of, col of column is different. Like uh, in the normal column, can just pick this and place it there and uh, it will be detected as a column and it will be, I don't need to pick two points. Like... Uh, for beam, I have to pick two points, but for column, I just place it there. So same applies to uh, to PEB. PEB, both columns and beam have to click two points. So the two points have to uh, define them prior to starting placement of the, the, of the column and beam. Now, I'll come to applications and component here and go straight to PEB tools here. So I normally place the PEB members, uh, PEB members using PEB member macro. So I'm going to pick on a pick on the member macro there and just snap on that spot then snap on the one meter height or we had de defined so i'm going to click on it once i've clicked on it i'm going to give it some time <coughs> to load everything then now uh, from there i'll be able to add more details on it then from there i'll be able also to take it on this on this side on this side so you can see it's slightly off the point we had uh, defined so that should not be a big deal to worry about so just double click on it once you double click on it you'll give you, you will assign it or allow it some time to load or register the information or, or double click on that particular member a reason why you're double clicking we want to access the property dialog box of, of this particular uh, member and now we want to offset it to sit right at the center of this point so we use this option here, pick on this drop-down arrow and pick this option and click modify. So that will make it move straight right at the center here. So let's just make, give it some time and it will be able to respond and we'll be able to move to the next step and of, of the same same structure. There we are and I'll go ahead and click apply and give it an okay. So once I've, I've given it an okay, I'm going to uh, basically pick it or just come here and uh, do the same thing place another member there so again using the two 
two members, I'm going to snap on this spot and snap on that spot and create another member. So you can see this member is slightly off the apex height. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on it once again. So once I've double clicked on it, I'll wait for the property dialog box. Then I'll be able to adjust it to take the profile or match or the upper flange will sit right on top of this point. So that's exactly what I want to do. I'm, and I'm waiting to do it in here inside the PEB member dialog box property. So I'm going to come here under the same same option. So I'm going to pick that option and click uh, apply or modify and give it some time to register that information. So let's just give it some time and it will be done right on the spot and now and on our eyes here. So if it, if it takes a different direction, we'll have, we'll have a different option here. So what we have here is very simple. We'll close that for now. So a reason why we want to snap it in here is because we want to use this point to create uh, uh, an eve, uh, an, an eve of maybe 300 going that way just to provide a cover there, an extension of the rafter all the way uh, away from the column. Now I'll go, I'm going to pick on this point and prior to picking on that point, I'm going to align my uh, align my XYZ plane with this slope here. So I'm going to pick on the view. So once I'm in the view, I'm going to pick on the work plane tool. Then I'm going to place my work plane tool right on top here. So once I've placed it here, is then I'll be able to go and pick this point. Then right click and come to spatial copy and pick on linear. Then check the XYZ plane or uh, the or under the Z axis there. Uh, I mean the X axis. I'll be able now to register or key in the, the that particular distance I think is enough for, to create a, th that eve uh, allowance. Then I'll come to X there, then probably key uh, in 300 there, then click OK. So that seems to be very, very short. I can always undo that and come back and uh, give it 400. And if I click OK, that I think will be OK, but not perfectly uh, good enough. 600 will be much better and uh, there we are and that's okay so once we are done we've, we've done so i'm going to delete this member once again because i want i placed it there right because i wanted to help me define the slope where i intend to extend my extend or locate my if if point if point now i'll come back to pay member then i want to begin from there and terminate it right there. So there I have created my my, my first drafter and I'm going to double click on it once again so that I, I make it sit right on top here accurately. So let's just give it some time to, to give us the dialog box editor or property dialog box of a member and we'll be able to add more details on this. So in just a moment and it is here and we are going to use this option and uh, we use that option and click OK or modify. So once you've clicked modify, we'll click apply and click OK. And once you click OK means you're good to go and you've accepted what you've seen and what uh, you, you entered, the details you entered that uh, has been registered and is working for you. Let me, no, let me just turn this around like this and it's perfectly OK. But for now, I want to change this one the depth of this. It seems to be way, way, way big and I don't think that that's okay, but it's perfectly well, it's, it's okay for, for me and we can just work with this 100 just okay because the the structure itself is not that big. It's just some uh, few distances or few uh, measurements of columns and drafters. So it's not, it, it won't take so much when, when it comes to cutting of the components of PEB, of creating, uh, cutting and joining the components of PEB. So I want to double click on it once again, and I want to refine this as, as a PEB member. So what I'm going to do, refine it, uh, make it a taper. So to make to taper it, I'm going to key in here at 250. So once I click 250, I click modify and see which direction extends. So that is not the, the, the part we want. we want to taper. I'll need to taper this section, this side on the side of 
the apex. So if I, if, if I taper that, I'll be okay. Now, once that is done, we the, the next part remaining just to mirror this on the on the other end. So how do we mirror this? We have to uh, we have to copy rotate because just the, the normal mirror in PEB uh, gives the opposite, uh, the extreme opposite of what you expect. So I always prefer to work with a copy rotate. Copy rotate is accurate when you try to make any move or copy command. Now I'm going to select on it. So once I've selected on it, I'm going to come to special copy and pick on rotate. So this is will be this will be my rotation line. And I place it here and uh, right on top here. I gave an offset of uh, 200 right, right there. So I'll pick on that spot and pick on that spot. And the moment I pick and see the coordinates are registered. Now, once that has been registered, I'm going to pick copy at uh, 180 degree uh, at 180 angle. So I'm going to click OK. So that has been copied on this side. So let's be done on the another part where we'll now be creating the connections at the apex here, at the joint here, at the eave here. And uh, I hope you'll try something similar to this and you'll be able, it will be easy to create. Thank you. And let's meet then as we add more details to uh, pay proof monitor in Tecla structures. And always don't forget to, to, to save your work. And uh, when you come back, uh, we'll be able to pick from that spot. Thank you.